الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد A person's mannerisms and behaviors is very important for making that first impression and you know addition to that it's one of the best ways to get to paradise in addition to of course uh, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that when you treat others and you treat them with kindness and respect and you exhibit good manners people are willing to accept your ideas or at least listen to them and especially this is important characteristics for someone who calls to Islam and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the best of examples and in a hadith Su'ila Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam an akthari ma yurkhul al-nas al-jannah qala taqullah wa husnu khulq the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked What is the thing that will assist people to enter paradise? What is the most favored deed that will enter people into paradise? And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying, "Taqwallah wa husnul khulq." He said, "Fearing Allah and having good manners." Fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means that you fear His punishment, that you stay away from those things He's prohibited. That is how we exhibit our fearfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that we stay away from those things He has prohibited. And we do the things that we are requested or that we have been commanded to do in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the second thing the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in that hadith, he said in Husnul Khulq, he said in good manners that our behavior will also be a means for us to to enter into paradise, that if we have good behaviors, we're treating people kindly, kindly, with kindness and respect. We are catering our speech, you know, saying kind words, gentle words, and being respectful, respectful to the elders, to our elders and other elders, respectful to our neighbors. All of these are from the Islamic manners, mannerisms, as well as being respectful to your neighbors. That also we should extend uh, assistance to our, our neighbors. Our neighbors shouldn't all be foreign to us, that we don't even know our neighbors. We should have relations with our neighbors, you know, sharing goods or, you know, sharing meals or, you know, interacting with one another, at least in a respectful and kindful, kind manner. That's incredibly important for the believer to do because there are several hadith of the Prophet Wasallam that mention that, that that's the right of the neighbor, that your neighbor has rights over you. So for us, it's incredibly important. All of these make up the Islamic rights and good manners. Then the Prophet Wasallam was asked, فَسُئِلَ عَنْ أَكْذِرِ مَا يُرْخُلَ النَّاسِ فِي النَّارِ And then he was asked, what are the things, what are the things that people mostly enter the hellfire from? And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, أَلْفِمُ الْفَرَجْ He said, the tongue, you know, by having vile and bad speech, and 
by not guarding one's private parts, meaning having illegal uh, relations, you know, fornication and, and so forth. So that shows us that our mannerisms are very important and that those, that our mannerisms will assist us in getting into the paradise or they can prevent us from getting into the paradise. They can cause us to be, uh, to go to the hellfire if we're not giving others their rights and we're not treating others with kindness and respect and by speaking vile and all of those things which which are ways in which we are disrespectful and have bad manners and speech so the believer should take away from this lesson to cater their tongue to try to think about what you say before you say it because you can never take back speech you can never take it back after you've said it it's left your mouth no matter how sorry you feel about it no how much you regret no how much no matter how much you wish you had never said that or you meant something else all you can do is try to clarify it and change what you said or clarify it and make it uh, less of a burden upon the person you spoke it to but you can never erase it it was said and you'll find this often in relationships that a person will say I remember when you said and it was so hurtful and all you can do is you try to clean it up but it's too late because what you said out of your mouth wasn't well thought out and it in fact you know, caused you, caused stress in your relationship with uh, the, the other person you're dealing with, whether it be your spouse, whether it be your neighbor, whether it be anyone, your parents. So, again, upon the believer is to watch their speech, is to be cautious in what we speak about, and especially speaking about others. And I ask Allah the Almighty to help us safeguard our speech and to bless us be of the, to be of those who are those people who inhabit paradise and protect us from every kind of evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam MashaAllah, Tabarakallah.